Alright, so for those of you just tuning in, this is going to be a 4v4 regicide fortress between me and my viewers. Because, I mean, we don't have any regicide content on my channel, and regicide is fun. And regicide fortress is extra fun. Uh, so let's do it. Sort of less appreciated game mode, but still gets some play. Regicide is very, very fun. And for those of you who... I start with five farms, right? Oh, yeah, and for those of you who have not played uh, Regicide, the base basically random map, but with a twist. You start with a king, and the king here, if he dies, you lose. Oh my god, the moonwalking! We got Michael Jackson the scout here. Uh, looks like he has changed his mind, but that is always my favorite bug with AV2HD. I would say, and you can quote me on this, that AV2HD is solely worth the $20 for that stupid moonwalking scout bug, and if the developers ever fix it, I will never forgive them, because that bug is awesome. Mmm... Let's uh, let's not get killed by wa uh, by walking by an enemy castle, though. You want to use the king the scout in the early stages of the game, of course, uh, because he's fast and he has a huge, huge sight radius. Uh, but the downside, though, is if you are an idiot and you walk him into an enemy castle, because uh, those exist, uh, you lose already, which is rather tragic. Uh, but anyway, yeah, you want to use him in the earliest stages of the game for a little bit of extra scouting, scouting vision. You just have to be careful to not walk him by any enemies. Looks like I am Celts, which is good, because I rarely get Celts. It's just Britons all the time with me. But I love Britons, I just get them every time I random for whatever reason. Looks like I'm right next to the ocean, so let us dock. Hmm, I will put this... Mr. King, please, please continue running. This last door has made me made me very sad. We could we can outrun him. I have the fastest king alive. You will you will never take me alive. Uh, the kings in the Age of Empires 2 are actually cross country runners uh, and. They have like a five minute mile time, that's the only way that they can uh, qualify to become a king actually, it's very historically accurate uh, that only the, uh, the fastest runners could become kings uh, in, the in the medieval days. So we must always keep that in mind. So yeah, uh, other characteristics of regicide- no, Mr. King, keep moving, I know you're tired and your little stubby feet uh, will prevent you from running fast, but we must keep going, it is, it is important to the mission. Anyway, uh... Regicide. You uh, you start with the king, you lose him, it's over, you die, uh, and you also start with a slightly different group of resources, so you start with no gold for one, uh, which is a thing that I see many players make the mistake of forgetting. So you start with no gold, uh, and you start with a lot of extra food and wood, and you start with a ton of extra villagers, uh, and you also start with a castle when you do regicide, uh, which is muy muy importante to keep in mind, because this castle means you have access to your unique unit super early and if you are someone like the Turks or something you can put that to pretty good use and do some uh, rather unorthodox strategies uh, but uh, yes Mr. King we must we must juke for great justice I will uh, put one more on stone perhaps Okay, enough with this scouting with the fishing. We should actually fish. It looks like Mr. King has escaped. Got to, got to love that, uh, those stubby, stubby legs as he waddles. Look at that. He's like a, he's like a penguin with a crown. Okay, but anyway, I want to be careful not to lose him. Uh, I think I will actually advance now. And another thing to keep in mind is that on Regicide, you do not have to really worry uh, about getting Loom early, because uh, you're not going to get rushed. 
or it's a lot harder to get rushed on Regicide because you start with a castle. Especially if you're doing Regicide Fortress, which is the standard map to do Regicide on. Uh, you're not getting you're not getting attacked. So what you do is you fast castle age, uh, and then stupid things happen. You do whatever you want uh, after that point, uh, but you always start with a fast castle. I'm going to start putting him inside my castle though, and off chance that I run into some archer squad and get GG'd. Would be would be really sad. Yeah, I think uh, a couple mistakes that people make when they play Regicide, and of course I'm not a, a Regicide expert, uh, but a lot of mistakes uh, that players make when they play Regicide is, for one, they forget that they start with so many villagers, uh, and they advance really slowly for no reason. Uh, and another common mistake, of course, uh, is forgetting that you don't start with any gold, so you do have to actually mine some of that if you plan to get to the Castle Age uh, this century. So, do keep that in mind. And yeah, some players occasionally randomly lose their king, uh, which is hilarious. Uh, don't let that happen to you. Um, another part about Regicide that people often forget about. You'll have a technology in Regicide that is available uh, only in Regicide called Treason. And this costs you spend 400 gold to temporarily reveal the location of every single enemy king on the map. Now keep in mind, you purchase this once, uh, and it reviews them for reveals them for a few seconds, uh, and then you lose that vision, and you have to research it again uh, to get that vision back. You can research it an unlimited number of times, of course, but uh, it is a huge, huge drainer on your uh, gold supply if you constantly spam it. And uh, another thing to keep in mind is uh, you will. Uh, need to move your king uh, frequently if you plan to actually win. <laughs> okay, I need a little bit more wood to reseed that farm. And we'll be able to go to the castle age really, really quickly. Standard castle age time in Regicide is about 13 minutes, something in that range. So this would be good. You know what I could really use, though? Another lumber camp. This is really the only forest in my base. Yes, okay, so I will have to... chop this one as my secondary camp. Now is the time where I was... where I almost wish I had loom. I need that double bit axe. Alright, but yeah, Regicide is a very underrepresented game mode. I think it's fun and it adds some variety to uh, Age of Empires 2, which is uh, more often than not Arabia Hun Wars. I think there's a, uh, a lot more to the game. I think what makes Age of Empires 2 such a timeless classic is the uh, variety in the game, the potential to just do whatever you want, basically. It's a cool, cool game. Nope, 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 no! See, that could have been your king if you're not careful. Which is why you don't use your king to scout the enemy side of the map. Oh, because sometimes the enemy castle will spawn like at the edge of someone's base, and then you and then you try not to cry, and then you cry. Uh, shade, you rat bastard! I will. uh... I will avenge that scout. He was, he was the best. He was, he was almost my son. He was. I will never forget. Perhaps I should get tracking. Anyway, the moment I get up, it is time for loom. That's not the greatest position for a town center, but don't have any good places to put it, so whatever. Uh, 
Okay, wheelbarrow as well. And the bow saw. No scout, which makes me cry. You dick, I will not stand for this. But I will make you fight me under the watchtower fire. Okay. Looking good. I do not want to reveal the presence of Bode Raiders, but... Well, I, I will not, actually. Not yet. Could you respond to my commands? Man, there's a fairly significant delay. Yeah, enough with your harassment shenanigans, sir. We have said enough. Anyway. Okay. Oh, shit, dude. He's the Japanese. Ah, oh, abort mission. Abort mission. Oh, God. He's an attack bonus versus unique units. Oh, that is so tragic. I should have checked. God damn it. Karma. Oh. Son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, I will have to think of something else in the meantime. That is so annoying. Oh god, why? Why, SpongeBob? Why? Why does he have to be the stupid Japanese? The one civilization that I can't, uh, I can't use Bode Raiders with. Uh, cause Bode Raiders are really, really, really fun, uh, a unit to use, actually. They're a underappreciated raiding unit, I think. Uh, and you can use them to raid the enemy base sort of like you would treat knights. Uh, but you don't see them as often because they uh, require a castle to be built, but you start with a castle in Regicide, so they're a great, great unit for that. And why do I have to be next to a Japanese player? Why? This makes me sad. But, uh, we will... we will compensate. We'll make up this difference. I think I should get cartography and see what's going on. Screw your attack bonus versus unique units, man. Oh, that makes me sad. Oh, that makes me sad. My shirtless men in pajamas with axes are no match for your silly, silly samurai. I question why the scorpion doesn't just spawn right there, but he spawns over here and has to walk all the way around, but God, why does it have to be the Japanese? The Japanese make regicide very hard. Uh, because people, people will want to use their unique unit on regicide, and the Japanese are just like, no. You know what? I will fight this. I have the scorpions. If the stupid scorpion would get his pathing down, that would be nice. Sir? Sir? Good lord. The unit pathing, man, sometimes it's just, it just makes me sad, you know, it's just... Ugh. Oh. Sometimes I question everything. Any shenanigans going on? Ooh, yellow. He's got the he's got the Britons. The Britons is also a great one. You can start with Longbowmen right off the bat. Uh, regicide's fun. More people should play Regicide. And not get the Japanese though, because those the people who get the Japanese are horrible people, uh, and they should feel bad. Gonna reseed that far. Yes, in case people are wondering, no, this is not the Britons, even though I bet you thought it was the Britons. Not the Britons this time. Uh, that would be too easy. Uh, I would like to get a little bit of vision up here. See what is going on. You done with all those houses, bud? Yeah, I guess he is.
and probably start moving things onto that cliff. Although I really would not want to lose all those scorpions to a shot from a mangonel. That is an allied plumed archer. These are allied plumed archers. Me like. I will now consider putting a TC on this hill and start to aggressively push into Slashdor's base. Yeah, Mayans a, are a regicide god. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to follow this up with a forward castle. Because I give no fucks at all. Not a single one. Zero are given at the moment. Maybe maybe half of one, maybe five percent of one, but not a lot. We'll get forging. Why not? It's cheap, and I can't really afford the defense one much. But yes, ha ha ha! I have you now. It's really nice to have all that fish nearby. We will send some villagers up there, start saturating that area. Mwahaha! I do like this forward castle. I think this will be fun. I do like how our Lord Malty fellow has sent reinforcements to me. That's his nice film. Ah! Conquistador is also a really, really annoying... You know what? Almost every civilization is a pain in the butt on Regicide. Uh, but I am prepared because I have Scorpions! Scorpion Master Race. Thank you, Mr. Celts. Alright, he's in pretty, pretty big trouble. I think he is lagging a little bit. Hard to say, hard to say. But he had that little lag symbol next to his, his head earlier. So perhaps that is uh, impacting his performance in some way. You never know. You never know. But lag is public enemy number one. I will make a scorpion instead. What am I under attack by? Nothing anymore because mangonels are the best right now. I was like, wow, I could actually put find a use for petards. Huh. Yeah, petards would be nice uh, if they didn't cost so much. They, they're really good against walls, that's about it. Uh, walls in which there are no ranged units to back those up. Uh, so that won't happen that often. I thought I selected the Siege Workshop. Yeah, those pesky, pesky samurai will be a pain. Ooh, and there's Jaguar Warriors too. See, this is what makes Regicide so fun, because it feels different than normal random map, because you don't get to see people's unique units super often uh, in normal random map games, but you do here, and it really does have to change the way that you play. I need to take that Manganel out. Yeah, it changes the way that you have to play, and it suddenly makes things like Scorpions such a superior choice here. Because uh, scorpions are really, really good against these silly, silly infantry. Uh, and yeah, I finally get to put these scorpions uh, to good use. And that is why Regicide is awesome. And if you don't play it, you are less awesome. But I still love you anyway. But you're just less awesome. But if you were extremely awesome before, that's not a problem. Oh, he's an Imperial Age. I don't think that really matters though, because scorpions, underrated and awesome. He's probably going to have to evacuate, but he should be fine just because none of his allies have been attacked yet, so he is far from GG. Uh, get a university.
think I could use perhaps another gold mine. We'll um make another ram. I see your nope, okay, so yeah, let's say your opponent is actually making scorpions, which will never happen by the way. That'll never happen in a realistic situation. The odds of that happening, uh, you have probably a higher chance of being hit by a, a, a lightning strike, but BOOM! Ow. Uh, the counter is mangonels, or that's the best way to deal with them early on. Of course, any sort of cavalry is good too, but... Uh, and huskarls are good, but, uh, you know, things with high pierce armor, the ranged armor. Uh, but, uh, yeah, mangonels are the best way to do it, because they suddenly turn your scorpions into cost-ineffective pieces of garbage, as they all die in one hit, and they cost a ton. Scorpions are only good when max, uh, massed, but they are good. And I got these pikemen in here as sort of meat shields. You always want meat shields uh, in front of your like, like trash units, basically inexpensive, crappy units uh, to just soak up damage for your more expensive ones, so that you don't have to lose those. They serve as a buffer zone. Alright, game's going good. The game is going good places. This does not apply to my scorpions, does it? I will get it anyway, because I don't actually know. And Age of Empires is not known for its consistent mechanics. Well, the game appears to, until you realize that there are things that they don't tell you, like Eagle Warriors actually have an attack bonus versus cavalry. Albeit it's small, but it exists, actually. Uh, and Age of Empires doesn't tell you other important things like your fishing ships gather slower from shore fish than they do from deep sea fish. This would be good to know, but they don't tell you. Actually, shore fish just... Yeah, everything gathers slower from it. Uh, but great fish marlin you gather the quickest from. And all of this would be good information to have, I think. Too bad they don't tell you. Not to say that you should never gather shore fish, it's just that you should prioritize the deep sea fish if you can. And this is a huge ocean! We'll, uh, we'll, we're gonna exploit this a little bit. I think we're gonna put down another dock. And I really think it's time to go to the future! The next age. The Age of Awesome! Hopefully that'll be the uh, next installment in the Age of Empires series. That the God, the stupid mangonels! Who told you you could have fun with my villagers? And he's trying to get me housed. That's what he's trying to do. He wants to get me housed. But yeah, scorpions, guys! The way of the future. Embrace the new meta game. It is scorpions now. It is scorpion time. I want to see everybody spamming scorpions from now on. I, just, I, don't, I don't care who. Well, if you have heavy scorpions, you're gonna be. You're gonna make them. You're gonna make them, guys. And if you're Chinese, I mean, come on. What do you want? It's uh, people just want me to get housed. This game. That's. I see what's going on. Is everybody just wants me to get housed? And you know what? I will never forgive you guys for this. Just, they, they have figured out where I build my houses, and they're just like, no. I get housed enough, I don't need your help. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to get housed. Let me through this wall. But don't get hit with my own mangonel shot. Okay, phew, alright. Stop killing my house builders, man. That is that is so mean. Inconsiderate people, I, I will tell you. They are uh, they're the worst. Uh your uh, your samurai will make me sad. Stupid input delay, man.
Do 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 do. Oh, is it lag? Yeah, it looks like Slash Door definitely has some uh, lag going on right now. That is okay. Sometimes it is beyond people's control. Holy no 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 this is not this is not happening the way that I wanted to happen. This is uh this is more than minor setback actually. This is significant setback. This is not what the doctor ordered. But conscription is Hmm. Yes. This makes me sad. No. Yeah, poor Pinko, he's getting surrounded by pikes. This is not looking good, guys. We uh we're gonna need we're gonna need some backup. <laughs> I need to get that castle up. Oh no, he's got trebuchets too. Shade Y. No. All this makes me sad. No, stop. Cease and desist. So please let me get siege engineers. Uh this game is making me sad. Oh my god, he's got eagles everywhere. T is attack ground, I gotta remember that. That is a hotkey that I don't normally use. Uh, just cause I don't... Uh, I don't know, I don't often get in a situation where I have to, but I'm gonna lose this castle, and I'm gonna lose a lot of things. Uh, bollocks. We're going to need more siege weapons. I'm gonna need a lot of scorpions. Uh, scorpions both counter eagles and don't. I think it countered by eagles, so it goes both ways. I do have this castle up though now. Actually, yeah, I can finally start getting an advantage on them. It doesn't really matter if I hit my own guys with my mangonel shots. Uh, thank God, because uh, my guys suck. They're halberdiers. Nobody likes them. They have no friends. Uh, but. It does matter if his eagles die because they actually cost something. Huzzah! I shouldn't have to lose that castle. And I refuse to. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to definitely repair that. Do 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 do. The problem is, is that this all my wood is at the front of my base, so that they are holding me off from my actual wood gathering uh, by doing this, and that makes me sad. No, no, everything is going wrong. Uh. The lag makes it hard to target this. Okay, I did okay. All right, this is uh, this is going marginally better. Marginally better. Let us uh, continue. Okay, good. Thank God my teammates are backing me up here. Uh, this is this was going to be an issue, but I think I finally uh, finally have the situation a little bit more under control. Cool, cool, cool. You should really consider transitioning into uh, heavier infantry, perhaps. I think I will do that. I don't have the wood for halbs anymore. 
don't want to waste gold necessarily, but it's probably within my best interest. This is one of the best ways to deal with eagles is with the heavy infantry, the champion line. I lost so much of my economy here, though. Super tragic. Is it the longsword upgrade? This, is, uh, this has been a pretty close, pretty close game. So last door and I took some huge, huge damage from that exchange, uh, but I do finally have him in a better. Uh, I think I finally am in a more advantageous position. Well, I was for a while, but then I uh, lost that for a bit. But I've got it back. I've got it back. Oh, I really don't want to lose that. I just need to take out that trebuchet like now. Okay. We're good, we're good. Okay, so we can kill these seed workshops to two. Oh my god, do I finally have enough for Siege Engineers? Nope, I need more food. Always tragic. Because I've lost so many farmers. <laughs> I think it is about time that I pull all these villagers out of my base. Move them somewhere else. Gotta get my eco back on track. No, I am fine. No. Alright, cool, cool. You guys still fishing? Awesome. Yeah, yeah, my economy could be in better shape, but it's a lack of villagers, not necessarily money. Oh my goodness, it looks like yellow has gone full, full Britons, and this is terrifying. Uh, when the Britons get their death ball rolling, that is when you get concerned. I'm gonna need, like, a trebuchet or something uh, for that. No, let's go rams, let's be manly, let's put our guys in rams. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, the, when the Britons get, like, their critical mass, uh, that is when you are scared. Uh, the Britons, when they get like a certain number of guys, uh, they get like the what I call the Britons death ball. That is when things get really, really hard, because <laughs> uh, you have to really, it's gonna be really difficult to uh, clear those guys out. I think they're probably calling GG, but I think it probably is GG. Yeah, we're a really, really great game from everybody here. Uh, my team doing doing lots of lots of work, and where I struggle, they can give me a hand. Which is really, really nice. Let us push out a little bit. Have enough for champion now. Should we go champs? And we should really help the team. Over here. Push! Push, 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 push. The important thing to note is that even after I lost, like, all of my stuff, I still kept rebuilding my economy. I... Uh, you should always be replacing any lost villagers, and I see that as a common mistake of players online, is that they, uh... If they lose a lot of their villagers, they just keep playing as though they didn't. And... That is a great way to lose. Or a bad way to lose. Because then they suddenly have a much weaker economy than everybody, and they're like, Whoa, what happened? I completely forgot. And... 
Nothing's happened. Okay, get a couple of these guys out. Finally, I can get my economy uh, rolling a little bit. I was kind of bottled in, and they killed all of my villagers because my economy had to be at the front because I had no wood in my base. It made me sad. All right, it's probably GG. All right, well, GG well played. Da, da, da. Obviously, I am not super great at regicide, but nobody actually plays it, so I have somewhat of an excuse. Jesus Christ, yellow with the British death ball. That is, that is terrifying. Terrifying, terrifying. And yeah, teal, teal and purple were very, very, very helpful. And uh, teamwork wins the day. To the achievement screen. Right, very, very cool, very cool. Yeah, I definitely could have had more villagers, I just lost a lot, but uh, definitely a significant difference between our team and enemy team, as you can tell, is uh, these two players had perhaps a few too, vi few too few villagers. You ideally want half of your maximum population to be villagers uh, in order to sustain troop production, uh, so you can keep your resources flowing, so you can constantly create guys. Uh, and this is perhaps a, a little, a little low. Jesus, nine castles. All right, well, GG, well played. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed playing this. And of course, if you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to check out the rest of the stuff on my YouTube channel, um, as well as my Twitch TV, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Links to which on the screen or in the video description below. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you all next time.